Cheers, John. I'll, I'll speak to you online later then. <laughs> Cheers, mate. I should have just left the bike out here ticking over while we're having breakfast because I um, I left the keys in it. You didn't? I did. Yeah. In the ignition? <laughs> yeah. Hang on. Yeah, don't ask me why. <laughs> don't ask me why. <laughs> you did actually come out. I'm just going to go and get my camera. I took, I took the camera. I was so security conscious. Yeah, yeah. I just left the keys in it. <laughs> Oh, John's a nice bloke. John's a lovely guy, yeah. Mm. It's the first time I've met him. Yeah, same. I, 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 I speak I, to I, him quite often online. You do? And he, he always comments on the videos, you know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, nice to meet him eventually. He's just always been really supportive of yeah. anything that I've done online. And uh, it's just nice, isn't it, to have someone yeah. who appreciates what you do. Yeah, definitely. Well. We've literally just ridden past it. They've changed it all, like literally built it all back up to so you can't even see that they've been. That's amazing. Let's try and quickly turn around. I was just thinking there's a lay-by and they've, they've even filled the lay-by in. Yeah, we can spin it here, look. That's amazing. They've filled the lay-by back in. They've rebuilt this wall. There was a big, oh, there was yeah. a big, uh, there was a big unit here. And oh, that, was the, see, yeah, that was the train the track, track down there. Was. Yeah. Oh, wow. How amazing! I, I, I never thought for a second that it would be all built up like this again. That will soon just be grown back, and you yeah. never know it was never there. Know, it? Yeah, never even know they've been here. I actually wanted to be here at the time. I know you won't be able to get too close to it because of the film inside of it. But yeah, yeah. <coughs> it, 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 I think it was the day we, the day we came home from Ireland, that I, I, I got a news thing saying the train's been fired. I'm like, oh shit! <laughs> I've missed it. <laughs> 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 See that that's one thing that shits me up more than anything, it's true. Um, I, I, once or twice I've you know been attempting to get the front end in here yeah. on this and then it all of a sudden it'll come up and you just think ah <laughs> it like goes too high. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know when Bruce did that wheelie in video with Martin? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and every time he got close to getting the front wheel, you know, at the right angle, yeah. he, he just bottled it every time. Yeah. yeah. And I, I know damn well that I'd be exactly the same. Yeah, I know it says no entry, but there's nothing up here anyways, you know. I'll just say that for the viewers. Yeah. Because <laughs> I know they'll still kick off about it. Yeah. You've Richie. gone through a non-entry. <laughs> this is Oops, my Derbyshire. I'll go <laughs> exactly. wherever I want. I am the, I am the king of Derbyshire. <laughs> I've got the key to the city. Yeah. <laughs> my loyal subjects allow me to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I bet you got that at all. Oh, oh dear, yeah. Oh dear. The thing is, I couldn't slow down enough. <laughs> I, I hit it about not as fast as you. <laughs> I'm going to need a new uh, 360 camera after today. I'm sure of it. Done this bit. The last thing I want to do this morning is drop my bike because yeah. you'll just you'll just go off somewhere and take a load of photos or something. <laughs> yeah, not help. <laughs> yeah, Richie, how dare you? I'd yeah. never do that. <laughs> in, in a minute, mate. In a minute, I'm just taking some photos. <laughs> It'd be nice to have a subscriber that was uh, a, a, a landowner, <laughs> you know, and get exclusive permission to ride on their land. Yeah, it'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Anybody out there, folks? Anybody out there owns uh, any of 
any of the Peak District, get in touch. We promise to behave. Yeah, honest. Well, I will. I can't, I can't <laughs> vouch for the King of Derbyshire in front of <laughs> And as, as a loyal subject in Derbyshire of uh, King King Dicky. <laughs> it's a bit busier now as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Amazing morning this is folks. Out with King Richard the Vida. <laughs> King Dingling! <laughs> King Dingling! <laughs> hey mate, it's been a lovely morning for you, hasn't it? It's, yeah, it has been good, hasn't it? Do you, you, did you say you do spend a bit of time up here? I, I do come up uh, probably <laughs> three or four times a year I'll come yeah. up. Yeah. Have a you know a good blast around the peaks and then head home again. Normally yeah. on a weekday when it's quieter. Yeah. <laughs> My wife was laughing at that, you know. Yeah, she? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was going, <laughs> why did they do that when they get to a junction? I said, just so the people behind know that yeah. the junction's clear. So now, whenever we're out in the car, she's just going, clear, clear. <laughs> 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 I'll try to explain it to Laura, and she's, uh, you know, when we're in the car or whatever. Yeah. And uh, if she's co-piloting, you know, you pull up to a junction and she'd say, Go! I said, no, no, don't say go, because go sounds like no. <laughs> so say <Yeah>. clear. <laughs> She's like, what difference is it? I said, go sounds like no, so I could think you've said go, and you've said no, and I pull out and get yeah. hit. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh yeah, I thought of that. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, you cop for a uh, magpie then. <laughs> did you see the, did you see the, I think it was the last Irish episode. When I literally did it one, yeah, on, on me screen, hit your screen. It was, it was, just it, was like, it was like so split second yeah. to the to the point that I thought I don't know if I did it something. I'm yeah, sure yeah. I, I'm sure I saw something. Then th then I'm thinking, well, I film at 50 frames per second, so I'll be able to slow it down good enough to see it. And uh, yeah, it like deflected off me uh, screen, didn't it? Yeah. But well, I, 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 I had a, I had a feather up here in the peak. Did you? Yeah. Like a like a Sioux motorcycle rider. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cherokee. Uh, yeah, Cherokee. <laughs> I uh, I nearly caught for a partridge in the head in that sunset oh, no. video. Well, you know about that, wouldn't you? Bloody hell. Yeah. That would probably it take. That'd probably take you off. Wash. It missed my head by oh centimeters, really. Wow. I did headbutt a, a pheasant on the way to work one morning. No, no way. Yeah, I, I ducked down behind the screen uh, and it still hit hit the helmet. But wow. for, fortunately, it was just like a glancing blow. Yeah. So it threw, threw the pheasant, you know, over the hedgerow on the opposite side of the road. But I, I don't know whether it killed it or not, but it gave me a bit of a headache, you can't tell you. Bloody hell, you were lucky with that. Yeah. Yeah, if, if I hit you full, full force, you know about it, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Well, my granddad, years ago, when, when he was, uh, him and his mates were on motorbikes, uh, back in the 30s, I think it was, yeah. he, he got hit in the side of the head and taken off his bike by a pheasant. Bloody hell. But that was in the day, sort of, before crash helmets. Wow. Oh, no. I tell you, you know when you're when you're riding in dusk, and all of a sudden the thought in your mind pops into your head yeah. about about uh, critters, you yeah, know, like yeah. badgers or whatever. It, it literally, <clears throat> in in a split second, slows you right down. Yeah, you know, you does. can be really tramping on on a country lane, and then certainly think about it, and it just goes, oh, hang on a minute, I'm going to slow right down a bit. Yeah, There's the second you think that that could be coming, then it's like, oh dear. Yeah, there was a guy on. Uh Facebook in Lincolnshire just posted, uh, I'm going to see that a couple of days ago, um, about deer in the road. 
out yep. in Lincolnshire. So, some guy's just been killed a couple oh, of weeks shit. back. What, a bike just rode, Yeah, just rode straight into the side of a deer. Oh, no. But they're bloody big. Yeah, and dense. So, yeah. so strong. Well, it's just muscle, aren't they? Yeah, just yeah. pure muscle. This is where I scraped the exhaust on the Goldwing on this corner. Oh, that was here, was it? <laughs> yeah. Scraped nice it around this corner. It's a nice corner, though. Yeah, though, it? it is. places that they feel like wilderness mm. but then I, I've had it where you'll pull into a lay-by and then you know you're just about to get your drone out and float the drone up and mm. show people how remote it is and yeah. how few people are around yeah and then someone will come and park next to you <laughs> <laughs> this seriously all this place all yeah, this area yeah, exactly. <laughs> we've gone past like a dozen bloody lay-bys down this road and you pick this one That's the only bad thing about um, these in-ear monitors, you know. Uh, so I've got a volume set now for us chatting. Yeah. But then the phone just went off, and, and my George is going, "Hi, Daddy," and it's like, ah, like pierce, <laughs> pierce in my ears. I'm like, just a minute, just a minute. Like trying to find volume. Like, oh. <laughs> bloody hell. No, I'm not angry, darling. <laughs> <laughs> That's that petrol station where it all went tits up at the weekend. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. Yeah. See, I, I pulled into that petrol station. I saw Bruce standing there with yeah. his helmet off. Yeah. Uh, just at the entrance to it. And I thought, yeah. oh, it must be a, must be a brake spot here. So uh, I pulled in as well and pulled over. And then I, I looked across the road and there's some bloke across the road waving yeah. his arm going, yeah. yeah you're safe to pull out yeah, yeah. and I, I thought oh hang on a minute it can't it can't be a proper stop no. then so no. I, I just pulled out and carried on going yes then. that's it that's what you should have done yeah that was my dad on the other Bruce on the way in and my dad yeah. on the other side was so it? so uh, it was basically to for anyone that needed to fill up to fill yeah. up so it was literally in and out gone I think that what it was because I changed the route massively because of the weather. Yeah, yeah. And and that would have been um, that would have been a fuel stop, anyway. Um, but it's still it's still a trek to get over to where we were going. So I just thought yeah. if anyone needs to top off, then then do it. But yeah, it created a bit of confusion, didn't it? And uh, I'm sure the the people behind the counter at the petrol station were like, "What the hell's going off?" <laughs> <laughs> All these people just filled up forecourt oh, no, and not just, even filling up we're just inundated <laughs> <laughs> it is nice just having this on your doorstep though just to be able to we're having this conversation when mr fish came up he just came up randomly to see me for like an overnight yeah, saw, kind of thing i saw that video yeah and um he uh you know he was saying for himself like when he wants to go out for a ride he's got to ride for an hour before anything's any good that's mental, isn't it? Mm, yeah. I'd hate, I'd hate to live somewhere like that. Yeah, how can you, you know, like when you've got the inspiration to go out for a, well, you think, sod it, I'm going out for a ride. Yeah. And then you get on your bike and you go and then you're here straight away, fair enough. But then if you've got that way, you get on your bike and you've got an hour's worth of crap before you can enjoy it, your yeah. inspiration will just fizzle out anyway. Yeah. 
I, I am lucky in the fact that I've got some lovely countryside yeah. right on my doorstep. Yeah. You know, uh, there's um, there's Beaver Castle, which is just four miles away from yeah. from where I live. Right. Um, and then that area around there is just glorious, glorious countryside. It's just not big enough, you mm -hmm. know. It's no, it's no, it's no peak district. Yeah. Um, but it, it's a nice area down towards Melton Mowbray, and then oh, okay, yeah, yeah. south of Melton Mowbray, that's gorgeous as well. Mm. There's some nice areas when I, when I go to uh, Honda to yeah. to Corby. There's yes. some really nice routes down there. Ah, Rock, yeah, Rockingham and all that. Yeah, when you did, uh, you put a Kalimoto route in, didn't you? Yeah. And, and the route that you went on, you went uh, through the viaduct. That's it, yeah. That's, yeah, the, that's, that's, that's the route that I've settled on being the best to, yeah. you know, to get me there. Because it's taken me yeah. on quite a few different ones every time I've been. It is. I do find Kalimoto is an excellent app for just discovering really yeah. quaint, quaint places, out yeah. of the way places. Yeah, me too. It's fantastic. Especially, again, when you're blessed with a bike. That can do that kind of stuff. Yeah. You don't got to worry yeah. about anything. Just it, let it, it do really its thing. Matter. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what the route throws up. Mm. You know that the bike can deal it, with yes, it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoy it. I've got another one called Scenic. I don't know if you've heard of that one. Yeah, I've got. I use Scenic for. So when I go to Scotland or yeah. anywhere like that, I, I put the route into Scenic. Yeah. And plan it point by point Perfect. in Scenic, so I know the route's correct. Yes. Um, and then and I the just use. Yeah, I use Scenic all the time. Right, I've seen, I've got it and I've never used it. Have so, you not? No, might be worth a try. Uh, I, I had looked at it the other day because it's um, it's all been updated on the app. Cause I, I remember seeing the little yeah, icon and I thought, what's that? And then realised yeah. it's this app that I've never used. So I might yeah, give it a shot. The, the best way to use it is like I've just said, plan your route yeah. in Scenic, yeah. point, point by point, turn by turn yeah. if necessary. Yeah. And then when, once you've planned it, just zoom in and make sure there's no stupid errors yes. that the, com the computer algorithms made. Yeah. Um, just to make sure that it's correct, and then you can save it, and it's it's just a dedicated route. Then yeah. it will just stay as a dedicated route. So on that day when you want to go and do that route, yeah. you know it's 100% correct. Uh, yes. Um, but I know that Andy Mancam uh, a couple of years ago. He was using it to travel, I think, I'm not sure whether that was Germany or whether that was in this country. Yeah. But he had a right mare using it, okay. trying to you just just put it in a point and say, get me to this point. Yeah. Um, you know, like like using it like Google Maps. Yeah. Don't don't use it like that because it's pain right. in the arse. Oh, okay. I don't know whether that's changed, whether they've updated it to the point where it's not as bad as that. But yeah. It's like I say, when, when I go to Scotland, I've already pre-planned all of my routes yeah. and, and stored them in Scenic. Yeah. And that works a treat for me. Oh good, I'll have a look then. You gain quite a lot of altitude in a short space of time on this road. Yeah, yeah. Quite a lot. Yes, I have seen you come up here before actually. Mm. You see that lake, you just see a bit of a trail there going down to the left, where that car yeah, is. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you saw a video where I think it was entitled uh, ah, I Got Into Bother on the Africa Twin. Yeah, yeah, I and saw that's that. And bloody, bloody hard work. Oh, come. look at that, that rock there. Can we get the bikes near there and just um, sit on this rock? Do you what, think? Film, film from here, you mean? Or uh, well, shift that? Yeah, might be able to. Let's well, uh, shift the rock. <laughs> <laughs> Just get <laughs> to me, to me, to you. <laughs> no, lift your end, lift your end. <laughs> You're not lifting. <laughs> find probably the hardest to ride. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, definitely uh, physically demanding. Just try and keep uh, a decent constant throttle. Yeah. Gets a lot easier in a minute anyway. 
I came up here on the Triumph Scrambler 1200. Oh yeah. And really struggled, really struggled. Surprisingly, actually, I thought it would be easy on that, but it was, uh, yeah, really hard. God, these bikes are just so capable. They are. <laughs> My skill level is sadly lacking, but this this bike, it just sorts you out, doesn't it? Just yeah, it uh, does. gets you through it. Oh, it gives you a bit of arm pump coming up there. <laughs> yeah. You just sort of point it in the um, yeah. general direction of where you want to be, and it yeah. just you just go there, don't you? Yeah. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit. That was a bit deeper than I was. Anticipating. Have you got? Have you got covered in it? Oh Jesus! It was like it was like heavy rain from one side. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> All right, it'll close it. It'll close it, won't it? I was going to say, watch me hit the gate on the way through. <laughs> Bloody hooligan! <laughs> You tried to flick shit all over me then. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Well, maybe I would actually. <laughs> Jeez, look at the state of this bike. <laughs> I still think these bikes look incredible. You know, looking at yours in the mirror now, it just looks that they've yeah. got such a great road stance. Yeah, absolutely. Especially with these lights on. Yeah. Imagine living in that farm with all that land. A bit lonely in the winter though, mate. <laughs> get some snow up here and all. Oh, this fella's gonna get gate for us. Thank you very much. Top man. Oh, it's brilliant Thank you, being, out, being out of royalty, it's brilliant. <laughs> Open gates for you and everything. <laughs> Cheers, boss. GoPro never does this just no. to either this this never. road, how steep it is and uh, It always looks nice on the film, but never yeah. looks this nice. It's never as dramatic, is it? When you look at it on video, mm. I mean. Get some amazing photography shots from the top there. Looking yeah. into this for a sunrise, looking down there. Oh, what's going up here? Kestrel up there. Have you ever done the Orkney Islands? The what, sorry? Orkney Islands. No, I haven't. I no, haven't. me neither. I'd, me neither. I, I'd like to do the Orkneys and the Outer Hebrides. I'd yeah. like to do all of it at some point. TMF did the Outer Hebrides, didn't he? Oh, did he? Yeah, I think, I think he's got a video. Um, I know he went to some islands out there, but um, I felt sure he did. What, on his bike or flight? Yeah, on his bike. Oh. On his bike. On his GS. Mm. Yeah, I'd definitely, uh, I'd definitely like to cross over onto the Orkneys and, uh, and the Archer Hebrides, definitely. We'll, I mean, you we'll know, you, you, feel, you feel like you're miles away at, at uh, John O'Groats, don't you? So Yeah, yeah. We'll, even, go and, we'll go and do it together. Yeah, definitely up for that, or, anytime. Or arrange a tour where there's a few people going up. Yeah. I'd, I'd love to do that, yeah. This guy, straight at Middle Road, look. With a baby on all. Should be right in the middle of Lily Road there, should she? God, I didn't realise it's 20 past one. Mm. It's been good today, really enjoyed it. It has been good, I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. I opened curtains this morning with like one eye going, please, and they're like, yes! 
<laughs> I didn't I didn't want it to be chucking it down. I know it said it looking good today, so yeah. But the weather's been a bit shocking recently, hasn't it? So uh, I, I, I'm not really holding any hope out for it. It's been kind to us this morning, hasn't Definitely, it? Definitely, yeah. Well, like that as well. You know, we're on about the tours and stuff earlier, and what's planning, what anything else planned. And uh, <clears throat> I was saying I might end up disappearing myself somewhere because yeah. I, all my tours are really with other people. Yeah. I, d I do long for being alone sometimes. You know, you know, like the Scotland thing I did on my own. Yeah. I, I, I just adored the fact that I had nobody, nobody yeah. at all. I tell you what, it's like a, I, I call it a, a reset button because I, yeah. I do I do mine on my own. Yeah. Um, and when I, I go away, um, and you've you've only got yourself for company for a week. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like hitting a reset button on your life and your yeah. brain and you know your thoughts, everything. Yeah. Uh, you come back and you're so chilled out at the end of it. Yeah. It must just see the world of good. Have you noticed that on the new GSs, the sick the indicators on the back. Oh, with a brake yeah yeah and a lot of people are moaning that they can't see the yellow flashing when the indicators are on because the brake yeah. light the, the red of the brake light is so bright yeah so i have to say i i don't know because i noticed it on pete's bike yeah you know when you're in ireland yes i noticed it on pete's bike but I, i'm not sure i've not formed an opinion on that yet as to how i feel about it because i've not mm. ridden with anybody who's got that going on on the back of their bike yeah did you, did you notice it was difficult to spot on, on it's, Pete's it's bike? Only because I'm looking for it now, because a lot of people have mentioned it. Yeah. You know, uh, so, so it's something I'm looking for now. Um, I mean, it does, it, it's definitely disguised, definitely. Um, and I suppose, you know, if you've got a bit of adverse weather or sun's directly shining on them and stuff, you probably wouldn't see it. Yeah. It's not a very good design at all. I, li I, li I really like how... Uh, lights being lit up orange you know like again looking at yours now in the mirror yeah just seeing yeah. the indicators lit looks brilliant I love yeah that. I, I really like that i know there's uh, quite a few people moan about it and say mm. oh i don't like it i wouldn't be able to get on with it it's like well it's, it's entirely subjective isn't it it's yeah. what it's what you prefer but i i do prefer it myself yeah when when i uh, when i went to scotland i posted a few pictures of this with the um these lights on the front you know yeah. the uh, Denali's yeah and I got a few people complaining saying yeah no but what about what about when people are in front of you or people coming the other way you know that must um, that must really hurt their eyes when they're coming the other way and it's like well hang on a minute why would you want to make yourself less conspicuous on the road yeah surely you, you want to be as yeah visible obvious. as possibly yeah yeah absolutely you, you don't want to make yourself inconspicuous do you on a bike I, I don't give no. a damn if it makes people look twice or yeah. if Plus you know they're not, makes them they're not bright they're not in your face like main beam in your face no they're, they are no. super bright but they're in the right area aren't they yeah and I've, also i i've noticed that when you're coming up to junctions it has changed the way people look at you and it's okay it's improved my confidence yeah. because you know they've seen you Yes, yeah. exactly. Mm. And you can see the fact that they've seen you. Yeah. Because even even if they're edging forward, all of a sudden the brakes go on and you see them you see them you, stop moving. Yes. And they're not trying to creep out. Yeah. Something I always do for that is um, you know, if I see a car at a junction, I'll always change my position on road as I'm approaching. Going to the middle. Uh, yeah, so so just just yeah. as a visual reference so he's seen a bike move. But yeah. I'll, I'll also eyeball him as I go past. Not yes. like not like being rude, but so he, he can see that I'm looking at him. Yeah. So so then at least he knows once I've gone past, oh that Rebecca. Or you know, he, he's acknowledged. I've acknowledged that I've seen him and vice versa because I'm eyeballing him, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, you should never you should never assume that they've seen you ever, should you? GS didn't even wave back. <laughs> no, no, I, I nodded as well. Well, piss off them. Yeah, Bloody look, GS look riders. Straight, look straight through you. Yeah. I think it was Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, as I said before, you know, the, these bikes do have a real good, strong st uh, road presence, don't they? Yeah. And following along behind you now, they, yeah. the, your bike, it just looks so cool. It just, they, they just look like such... They're a very a good cool, looking bike, cool aren't bike. they? Yeah, they are, yeah. And the other thing is, like, when, when you're on it and you, you know, like, you can't see another one, 
you, you kind of know what they look like, but it's yours and you're on it, so you don't really notice it. Then, yeah. when you see another one coming the other way, you're like, damn, that's a good looking bike. Although, <laughs> when you look down it, down on it, on your tank, and you see the, the girth yeah. of the bike, it's, you just think, Jesus, that's big. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, the thing is with GSs, and uh, I, I don't know, uh, I don't know about anybody else, but you know when you look down on the engine of a GS, yeah, you, and you can see those pistons sticking out, yeah, they're not, they're not symmetrical. Mm. Oh, I couldn't cope with that. I couldn't cope one, with that. One is slightly forward of the other one. Oh no. Um, and I can't say I've would... noticed that. Now you've just pointed that out, that's going to stand out like a sore thumb. But I can't yeah, say I've ever noticed that. I, I've, I tell you what, I've never ridden one, but I was watching someone's video and mm. they looked down and I looked at the pistons and I thought I wouldn't be able to live with it. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to live with that. That would just screw up my OCD yeah, I'm to the point where, no, I can't, I can't <laughs> live with that. <laughs> That's like a lot, a lot of the comments on the, the GT video I did in Scotland, the people moaning yeah. about the lopsided headlight, you know, and that's, again, to me, I don't know why they can't just have them both on. Yeah, you know, and, yeah. Then, and then both on for main beam, but you know, activate a different light because they, I, I they do look the funny reasons, when it's just one. Yeah, I mean, I know the reasons why they do it, but yeah. um, you know, there's so many bikes that have twin headlights on yeah. all the time. Yeah. Or even why didn't they come up with a, a DRL that was yes. you know mm. suitable? But yeah, I don't, I don't like lopsided stuff. It's like at the, all. The, the last the last model of the Africa Twin was lopsided, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. They're getting a bit frisky. They're so, they're so lovely to look at, aren't they? Yeah. They're beautiful looking creatures. Jesus. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> something. They're, having a, they're having a game of tag or something, aren't they? Yeah. I think it's you're that on, stand. You're on. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was that stag that was in amongst them. I think <laughs> that, that's what was causing the problem. Because it, isn't it rutting season now? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. So he's probably trying to get his end away with half of them, so could be that. Well, strutting around with a wink in his eye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the hell do I know about deer and shagging? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, this is exactly the time when deers like to shag. <laughs> Shall we go back up that trail again? Yeah, can yeah. do, yeah. Cool. It it cuts, words. It's nice to go um, round, but it's. I, I, I I'll really always go on this. If I'm on this, I'll always go up it. Yeah, this back lane that takes you up through Rosely here is just horrible anyway. What? Slow with, with, with with cars. Yeah, yeah, it is. She got a face on her. Yep, sorry. You know, it's clear to see that we've slowed right down, we're being very respectful and they still have a yeah. face like a slapped arse when you go past him. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that nice. <laughs> you could tell, because I nodded at him as well to say thanks, and you could tell that yeah, he, begrudgingly, he begrudgingly nodded back. I think Gaz had a little accident down this lane, didn't he? Gaz, uh, Gaz yeah. you're on... On the V-Stroms, yeah. That's it, that's it, yeah. Yeah, he dropped one. <clears throat> I thought, oh, where's Gaz? I've not seen him for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just come down going, drop tip. <laughs> I think some people naturally have a face, yeah. which looks like a slap toast, uh, yeah. doesn't it? My dear, I can't talk. Apparently, I do the same sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, without realising? <laughs> According to my wife, yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm all smiling on the inside. <laughs> you just forget to do it on the outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But people, people think you're just a bit retarded, don't they? If you if you constantly walk around with a smile on your face, <laughs> it's like is that man simple? <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? One minute you're bouncing up a little lane like that, yeah, rocks flying everywhere and yeah. water flying everywhere, and then the next minute you're tanking along yeah. up uh, on the tarmac. Simple as that. Well, let's think about wrapping this video up, aren't we? Just in case. Thanks folks for coming along with me and the undisputed King of Derbyshire, Mr. Richie Tvida. <laughs> Don't you start that. <laughs> Don't you make a thing of that. <laughs> Shit! 
<laughs> Thanks, Richie, for letting us come to your wonderful kingdom. It's been it's been an honour, actually. It's been great. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. I've um, I've really enjoyed it too, mate. So thank you very much for it, coming up. It, it's been a great ride out, hasn't it? Yeah, really? yeah, we've had a good time. Good time. So if, if you're not already following Richie Vida, I don't understand how you're not already following and subscribing to Richie Vida. Get on and subscribe to Richie. Watch his tour videos because they are awesome. Um, I've watched all of them at least four times. Um, well, thank and you very don't much. forget to subscribe to my little channel here at Motor Mogul. I've been Jack Porter. That has been Richie to Vida. And I remember, will see folks, you on the hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, sorry. And sorry. remember folks, be good, be careful, and be kind. And buy the t-shirt. <laughs> when, when it comes <laughs> out. Are you, are you doing those, yeah. video, uh, those yeah. videos, those t-shirts? Yeah, a, we will be, yeah. yeah. I just uh, had one made just to see if I liked them or not. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I thinking of getting some motor mogul stuff done, but... Yeah. Um, that's going to be when it pays for itself, yeah. when the channel's paying for itself. Yeah. That's all in the future. But anyway, thanks for coming with us, folks. Um, I will see you next time. Not sure when that will be, but that is more than likely going to be the Triumph T120 and the Speed Twin video. So I will see you then. Cheerio for now, folks. Thanks for bye having me, Jack. Bye. Thank you for having me. Cheers, mate. Thanks for having me. I don't always like um, selfieing with these screens. Where are you? Oh, sir. So. Where are you? Richie! <laughs> what a bellend.